Why isn't anyone reading my blogs? Troubleshooting, bad blog engagement, and SEO. Hey you, I'm Sarah Turner. I'm a freelance copywriter and copywriting mentor, and I wanna help you with bad blog engagement today. So first things first, let's go over five reasons that your blogs probably aren't getting the amount of visitors that you'd hope they'd get. The first thing is that they're not SEO optimized. I hope by now that you are optimizing anything that's written that's online, like website content and blogs. Those should be SEO optimized. A few things that might not be SEO optimized that maybe you missed are maybe it's too short. More and more Google is favoring longer form pieces of content online. Most of the number one spots are held by things that are 2,500 words, 3,000 words, and up. So sometimes it could be that it's too short for it to really be registered as anything that's valuable in Google's eyes. Another thing could be that you don't have the relevant keywords in your H1s or your H2s. So make sure that you're using your keywords in your titles and your subtitles and that you're labeling as H1s and H2s so that Google knows this is what this blog is about. This is also how it shows the hierarchy of information because the title is going to tell Google this is what it's about and the subtitle is going to say this is, you know, more important information but a little less than the title and more important than the body. So make sure you're incorporating any relevant keywords and long tail keywords here. One of my favorite things to do is to incorporate a question, which is often something somebody would type into Google to find my piece of web copy or my blog and have that be the subsection. So I'm using the long tail keyword as the H2 and I'm also answering the question and being really helpful, which is great for SEO. The other thing is, is it could be misleading or even boring. Maybe it's just not compelling enough, or maybe the person is ending up on your page and feeling like it's not quite in alignment with what the title is. This can lead to people bouncing away or clicking away really quickly, and that can increase your bounce rate. So this can hurt your SEO. The second reason there might not be a ton of traffic to your blog is that you aren't promoting it. It's not enough to rely on SEO. So make sure you're promoting it. Blogs are great for pulling excerpts and using them in social media. They're also wonderful to include in newsletters and email to your email list. If you mention another product or a service or somebody who might be interested in sharing your blog, go ahead and do so. It can't hurt to ask, and they might even include it in a black backlink on their own website. So be proactive, promote your blog. The third reason might be that you just don't have an audience yet, and that takes time. So no worries, everyone starts from zero. So start doing things that will help you build your email list, like creating opt-ins on your website, which can include freebie giveaways or you know free pieces of content that are helpful and really valuable and solve a problem of your potential audience. That you can give in exchange for an email address and start to regularly email your audience, your email list rather, and build that relationship. The next potential problem is that there's actually a technical problem. Maybe there's a broken link or a poor load time. A pro tip for making your load time a little bit faster would be to make sure your images are just slightly smaller, but you don't want to compress them so much that they look shitty. So make sure that the page is loading rapidly. You also want to make sure that your blog is mobile friendly. This is huge. Most people are looking at things on their phone these days. And also make sure that the font, the color, and that it's easy to read and the formatting are all done well. If you have walls of text, that's one way to get people to click away immediately. And if it's hard to read, like the contrast isn't just the traditional black letters on white background, that can make it hard for people to read and more likely to click away. Another thing you might want to check is to make sure that you weren't blacklisted by Google. There are some free blacklist checkers online. And finally, one of the reasons could be that your blog just isn't engaging enough. So really get some feedback from somebody else other than yourself and see what they think about it. You can check your bounce rates through Google Analytics, which will tell you how many people are showing up, taking one look at it and clicking away. That's a good indication that it's not what people are looking for. So if you suspect it's this, just really focus on being helpful, answering questions, and being clear and concise. Truly, you do not have to be the most clever person to have a very powerful, effective blog. 
you can be really clear and really helpful. That is definitely a great strategy. And of course, don't forget to format your blog to appeal to skimmers. So thanks so much for joining me, guys. Hit that thumbs up button if you like this. I would love to know from you if that was helpful. And if it was, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks, guys. Oh,